Hey, this is Luke with the Android Guys Podcast. I'm here with Scott. How you doing, Scott? Howdy ho, Luke. You have a app review or a game review for us. What do you got today? It qualifies as a game. Okay. But it's more, well, the title is Forest Island Relaxing Game. Mm. It's Forest Island colon Relaxing Game. Okay. So I think they're trying to tell you what it is in the title. Because mm-hmm. I think it's just Forest Island. It's not like the relaxing game. The re- no. Okay. It's yeah. It's uh, it is a relaxing game. Okay. Uh, it was kind of weird for me to get used to playing at first because kept falling asleep. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was another game oh. that was super relaxing. Gotcha. You remembered. I do. Uh, you exposed me here in the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, this is a the premise is very pretty straightforward. It. You have uh, like a tiny little spot, like island, floating out, in the, and uh, you start collecting like this little energy, like happiness kind of thing, and you will uh, generate like a coin kind of thing that just constantly accumulates. And once you get to a certain point, uh, you can use those to kind of add or insert other things along the way to kind of build this island up so the first thing you'll do is kind of level that island up and prove like the, the tree you don't really see these things happening at a, you know from level one to two to three to four uh-huh uh but once you hit a certain point it just changes and all of a sudden the tree just looks a little different oh okay um but you start to add wildlife like the first one will be a rabbit and the rabbit, once you place him there, he just kind of hops around this little spot, uh, randomly enjoying the island. Mm-hmm. And you've got this really ambient kind of music that's playing, very chill uh, soundscapes kind of thing where you just kind of chill. Mm-hmm. And the rabbit will uh, go back and forth and he will see like these little hearts to pop above his head. Mm-hmm. He'll tap those. And you'll just be continuously generating these little coin kind of things. So you'll start out, it might say like, um, you know, 101A. Right. And then it start going up 143A. Like once it gets to 1,000, then it starts counting again as a B. Mm. So it's 100, you know, 200, 300B. So you get into C, D. So the, you're basically... Uh, at first, I saw, I didn't catch it till I got to the B, and I was like, "Is that billion? What am I? I'm already dealing with billions of things." But it's kind of like a layer of how far you're accumulating these coins or how mm, fast. Okay. So to place these other things on the island, once you get to a certain point of satisfaction, then you can add another little part of the island with like a a tree trunk that's downed and uh, add a fox, and then the fox has his own space and his happiness. Uh, you're not really doing anything in a race against time Uh you're not penalized by doing anything you know not quick enough and that's what was weird for me is that it was just kind of whatever you make of this game and it's very chill it it is uh graphically very nice uh without being like super heavy something you see on a console but you look at it and go this looks like a really fun indie game that oh. I would see, you know, that might be, you know, free or two ninety nine in the play, uh, PlayStation store. Right. Um, then, you know, as you start to your happiness and the levels and things go up, you might see like random twigs fall on the ground. If you tap on those, you will pick up extra things. So you just you will kind of get rewarded for keeping this thing clean clean and zen like interesting nature you'll restore things uh-huh. and it uh the, the next part of that level might be a little pond and then you can add a duck to it and it just kind of expands a little bit and then next thing you know you see um there's a pink dolphin that swims up and you can do something with him you know if you want there are some things in there that if you want to um purchase you can um but other than that you can just enjoy the game Hmm. like you just look around and just enjoy it and there are places where um you will actually 
have like tasks. So it'll say like restore the tree to level five or whatever. And I'm, you know, some of these I have up to like 60 or higher, but it isn't competitive. There is no time thing. You just kind of unlock these little, uh, you know, things. Hmm. And, you know, I, I closed the game and a little bit later I came back and opened it and there was an otter floating there and I tapped on him and he was like, here's all the things that you accumulated while you were gone. That there are, I looked up the game, there are over 40 animals that'll be in the game. And I think you just kind of move at the pace that you want when you accumulate enough to expand your island, you expand your island. Interesting. But if not, you don't have to. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the tasks might be take a photo. So you'll kind of like zoom around and then you can just pick a spot. And then when you it brings up a, like a virtual camera and you can just watch the fox and take a picture of it if you want to set it as a background or share it to somebody. But you can literally move from like place to place and just turn the volume up and just watch it. Cool. And you just kind of see birds will flutter in and the rabbits might run behind the tree and uh, the fox might lay down and take a nap. It, but, I mean, it's just very relaxing. Cool. So I, I don't know there's a, the gaming aspect. I did see that the game has these, like, um, they call them ad tickets. I don't know what they do yet. Uh, you can purchase them. There are gems that you can get as well. You can spend anywhere from like uh, the ad tickets are three dollars eight twenty three like that you can buy, but I haven't seen yet how to uh, how to get them or what they would do if I put money into it. Huh. Uh, same thing with gems. You you can get these gems as you you know accomplish these tasks, but I'm not sure. You know, when you go to add to a different level, it'll say this requires 50 gems. So you you are kind of based off of your own progress. But you can buy them Mm. if you want to just kind of like speed run your way through. You can drop uh, one, five, 20, 50, and $105 Wow, bundle. So I don't know that I want to do that, but it is the kind of game where it'd be like, let me just check on my animals. Right. You know, let me see how the rabbit's doing and. You'll see, you know, at a certain point, this will make them happier quicker. Mm-hmm. And you can use these little tickets to say, oh, I want to, um, there's like avocados. These like things you get that you collect and they just kind of speed the game up, but you don't have to. Right. So it's, it's very chill. Oh, huh. sounds pretty cool. It is. Sounds relaxing. It is very relaxing uh, and very well done. Nice. You want to put some scores on it? I will. All I right. have... Uh, it's a one through five. And uh, start with uh, features. Features, I'm going to go with a four. Okay. Uh, just because it seems like they're, you know, with 40 plus animals, the move at your own pace. Uh-huh. Um, you don't have to uh, do anything. I don't feel like that you don't want to in the game. You're not yeah. kind of forced in a certain direction. And there's no, you know, do this. So that you can do this. Uh-huh. It, I mean, there are certain things where you can't add a new part of your island until that. Right. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. Right. Um, so I give it a four. Uh, graphics, I give it a four. Nice. It looks very nice, very polished. Like I said, it has kind of like a, a good indie developer look to it. Color palette is nice. Um, and it, it seems very intentional without being like, cute uh like cartoony so right i'll give it a four on that okay audio four and a half nice that's really part of the relaxing to me is that you know you just have these little uh they're like checkpoints when you tap on them it moves to certain parts on your island and you can just sit there and chill nice. and just watch it i mean you're just staring at a screen it's doing nothing but it uh with audio with headphones especially it's very good. Nice. Uh, replay value then. I'm at a four. Yeah. Uh, I, I want to keep coming back. I want to see where this goes. Mm-hmm. I am re- enjoying it. It's a nice departure from games where it's a race against the clock or beating an opponent or uh, building a deck or something like that. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's it's a four for me. How about ads and notifications? Another four. Wow. Uh, have uh, I had one notification 
I think today, after a couple of hours, it was kind of like uh, I had accumulated something or earned something. Um, went into the, you know, and I opened it up and it just kind of gave me the things that I had earned passively. And then that was it. So, so far, so good. Um, I've probably put in about an hour or so into it. Okay. So... I don't know if ads are going to change right. notifications. There's in-app purchases. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that's the only way they're monetizing it. Right. Uh, but I think that comes out to 4.1. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great score. Yeah. It's a, it's a really fun game. Forest Island. It's uh, relaxing. Forest and, Island. Yep. And that's from uh, Neo Wiz. Awesome. Well, thanks, Scott. You got it, Luke. <laughs>